My business is Paul Brophy Produce. We're based in Nace. We set it up in 1983, really as an experiment, just trying to grow a range of vegetable crops. Uh, we realised after a few years that the soils in South Kildare were very suitable to brassica growing. It was a range of brassicas originally and we've specialised in broccoli production in the last five years. We've been supplying Gilfresh for the past uh, four years. Uh, our relationship over that four years has, has built and flourished. As a company I find them extremely professional and we, we, have, um, we have a very, very good working relationship with them. We employ 80 people at peak here. Our busiest period of the year is just now in the month of July where we, we would have a uh, full complement of staff and it goes down to about 10 people in the winter months. The, the story starts with the tiny seeds. We buy 12 million of them to grow 700 acres of, of broccoli. Each seed is sown in a, a small cell of compost uh, with 15 cc's, just enough to give it uh, enough nutrition to, to last it a week or two. Then it's moved into the nursery when it's germinated. We, um, we grow it on for approximately six weeks, applying what it needs, when it needs for that six weeks. They take 12 weeks from when they go into the field to become a fully grown broccoli plant. Nutrition is probably the key to the crop, uh, both in terms of the propagation and in, in the field growing. We walk the crops every week from when they go into the field with the farm manager. We, we check what's needed. Harvesting is the biggest challenge because you have literally two days of a window when the crop starts to, to come ripe. Once the crop is, is, is harvested, we, we need to get it back here as quickly as possible and take the field heat out of it. When we put it into the fridge, our target is to take it from field heat, which could be anything up to 26 degrees. Yesterday was 17 and a half degrees, and we target to take it down to about two degrees as quickly as possible. That's a, within a 24 hour period. We have monitors in all the fridges, all linked to a mobile phone texting system. If a fridge breaks down, I automatically get a text to say there's an issue so we can go in and fix that straight away. When it comes back in here and it's harvested, it gets the date that it's harvested and the people who are involved in the harvest. And we have all the field details on that crop. We can go in and we can check on the computer how many bins of product I have in stock, if it's first harvest, second harvest, what the variety is. We try to uh, put it through our pack house in, in about two hours so the temperature doesn't rise and doesn't impact on the quality. We have to work to very tight deadlines. We have 24 hours notice to get our orders ready. I've made mistakes over the years purchasing machines or growing crops that did not work for the betterment of the business. I tend to forgive people working for me that make mistakes that may cost the business money if the long term objective was to improve the business. If you are too cautious you will never improve. These gambles are why we are the largest grower of the crop in the country. What I do not forgive is not being willing to admit that you did not succeed and stopping what you are doing, admitting this defeat or incorrect judgement quickly. I have machines I bought that I subsequently sold at a loss as they did not perform as we expected. It would be the same with flex to be Despite the investment I have made, if I were not happy with the results, I would be discontinuing its use straight away. I am very satisfied with the purchase and believe it adds substantial value to our business. Any investment that recoups 100% in the first year has to be worthwhile. How's that for a fast ROI? The production of broccoli works on very tight margins and investments that improve the bottom line by adding value, increasing yield or reducing waste, which is what Flex to Bee does for us, has to be worthwhile. I will back up what I'm saying by actions. I believe for the first time since we started growing broccoli that the year on year growth of consumption has peaked and flattened out. We intend to reduce our acreage in the coming year and have the same amount of saleable product managed better post harvest, giving us a higher saleable yield. Profit, the bottom line, is all about value optimization, not acreage maximization.